Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to McMoran Place Arena, where tonight 365 seniors stand before us waiting to be the 137th class to graduate from Port Huron High School. Let's give these students a round of applause. We would like to extend a special greeting tonight to all parents, families, and alumni. At this time, would you please look at your program with me? In the center of the program is an insert that indicates the seniors who have, a, have parents or a parent, grandparents or a grandparent who also graduated from Port Huron High School and are alumni. So at this time, let's salute these alumni members who are the parents and grandparents and ask them to stand. I'd like the class and the audience to join with me congratulating them. Please stand alumni. Let's give these alumni a nice round of applause. Thank you. And as always, go Big Reds. Once a Big Red, always a Big Red. For this class, these seniors, it has been 13 years in our schools, and they have completed, in the past two weeks, senior activities, which include the prom, senior assembly, baccalaureate last Sunday. Tonight's commencement will be followed by project graduation, their first class reunion at 10.30 at Port Huron High School. At this time, on behalf of all of us here in Big Red Country, I'd like to personally congratulate each and every one of these seniors who are here tonight. Congratulations to this class for its contributions to its school, community, and family. Thank you very much. You're great. Let's give these seniors another round of applause. Before I go any further, there are some people I would like to thank for their dedication and hard work for the past year. The three assistant principals, Jan Barrett, Terry Stoneburner, Ken Semmelsberger, our curriculum director, Jeff Dennis, Keith Hodge, Al Vandenberg, and Doris Stein for their technical assistance, the POD teachers, Trish Ford, Andrea Malachi, Chris Pattengill, Sue Falk, Jeff Story, Larry Crayback in charge of facilities, and all the parents who made this night possible. And a special thanks to my wife, Cindy, for all her patience and support during this school year. Let's show our appreciation for all these people. Will, the audience please stand, and gentlemen, remove your hats for the singing of the national anthem, which will be performed by Adelie Smith, signed by Alicia Miller. as they're walking back to their chairs. Excellent job. Let's give these two students another round of applause. Will the class of 2005 please be seated? For the graduating class of 2005, we will be holding our project graduation celebration party beginning at 10.30 tonight at Port Huron High School. This is an event you don't want to miss. Over $10,000 in gifts have been bought or donated 
for our seniors. They will, be spent the entire, they will spend the entire night at this safe, supervised party made possible through the commitment of our community, local businesses, and parent involvement. By the way, any seniors who have not purchased a ticket may still purchase one at the door. We salute these supporters for their concern in helping to provide a safe, fun-filled environment for our seniors. A special thanks must go to Linda DeMann, chairperson of Project Graduation, as well as to all the dedicated parents who helped make this possible for our seniors. Let's show our appreciation for all these dedicated people. At this time, it is my privilege to introduce to everyone Mr. William D. Kimball, Superintendent of the Port Urinary School District. Before he begins, I want to share a few comments about Mr. Kimball retiring at the end of this school year. He has, he has had a distinguished career spanning over 34 years of service in our district. I've had the opportunity to work with him my entire career as a teacher, principal, executive director, assistant superintendent, and superintendent, he has accomplished many great things with the highest priority always being the kids. Because of his commitment, he has made Port Yorn Area School District one of the finest school districts in the state, bar none. However, before he held any position in this district, he was one of us. He graduated from Port Huron High School, and you know what we say here in Big Red Country, once a Big Red, always a Big Red. We have a gift that he's going to hang up in his house. Please help me welcome Mr. Kimball. Go Big Reds. I've gotten a few plaques in my life. I'm going to treasure this one. Seniors, soon to be graduates, congratulations. We are so proud of you. I will always like to take this opportunity each year to thank your families, your parents, your grandparents, brothers, sisters, extended family, and friends for the support they've given you in helping us to educate you turn out to be the fine young people that you are, you are going to represent Port Huron High School very, very well. Congratulations. We look forward to seeing what you do, the wonderful things in your life. Tonight's speaker is a prime example of someone who exemplifies what each of our graduates has been hearing and learning throughout their education. As a product of the Port Huron Area School District, and a 1971 graduate of Port Huron Catholic High School, she is a person who has dreamt, pursued, and achieved her goals. While many of us always hear that we can make the world a better place, our guest certainly does. With the desire, determination, and ability to make a difference, she spends the majority of her time making decisions that have an effect on every person here in St. Clair County. It is my pleasure to introduce the class of 2005's commencement speaker, the Honorable Judge Cynthia Platzer. Thank you, Superintendent Kimball, Principal Woleen, School officials, faculty, class of 2005 officers, graduates, family members, and friends, and good evening, graduates. You guys are awesome. What an honor it is for me to be here to share this important day with you. This is your day. You've worked hard for the last four years to make this day happen. Many of you have looked forward to this point in your lives, but yet many of you are saddened that this is a chapter closed or soon to be closed. Graduates, think of what you're going to be leaving behind. 
bathroom stalls with no doors, <laughs> bathroom stalls with no stalls, football players, you know what I'm talking about, the leaking ceilings, the buckets in the hallway, and what about that familiar phrase, bar none? <laughs> Graduates, you can be proud of what you have accomplished in your academic endeavors as well as the athletic endeavors. Every day in my day job as judge of the 72nd District Court, I see young people who drop out of school, who have no skills, who cannot find a job. And consequently, they lose hope. When they lose hope, they begin to self-medicate with drugs or alcohol and that only compounds their miseries. This is what I see all day, every day. It is truly exhilarating, truly exhilarating to address you this evening when I consider you are class number 137 from Port Huron High School. As a class of 365 graduating seniors, I am told that you have earned a 2.83 overall grade point average. This, I am told, is one of the highest for any graduating class of the 137 for Port Huron High School. And if that's not enough, those who also participate in the, in the athletics in Port Huron High School this year have an overall 3.1 grade point average. Awesome. I am so proud of your accomplishments, and obviously, your family is proud as well. If the business and marketing students didn't tell you, graduates, your stock is at an all-time high with your family members, this is a great time to ask for money. <laughs> 10 years from now, there is only one graduating senior here, however, who will remember who was even here speaking at this podium, let alone the words that were said. And the only reason she will remember is because that's my niece, Colleen Seaman, and at every family gathering, I'm not going to let her forget. <laughs> my goal here tonight is to cause you to focus now and over the next four or five years as you move toward fulfilling your life calling. When you focus on that life calling, I urge you to consider the big picture or the national picture, the local picture, and your picture. The big picture, growth sectors in our country over the past hundred years have obviously been moving away from economic activity that is organized in and of itself to generate an income, such as farming. Nationally, we have seen and we will continue to see growth in the nonprofit social sector. That is government, the professions, healthcare, and education. Locally, membership in our Greater Port Huron Chamber of Commerce 50 years ago was primary, primarily made up of manufacturing businesses. Today, less than 10% of that membership is a manufacturing type business. That membership today is small retail type businesses, professional businesses, healthcare, and education. The growth trend locally is very similar to that on the national scene. Why is it important that you analyze the growth sectors and the national and local trends? Because graduates, the job market is unbelievably competitive. When you choose your life calling, you need to make sure that there is a demand for that life calling. When you make your choice, analyze the common thread as to all of these occupations. All trends indicate that your future job will be in a service-producing industry. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics, service-producing industries will account for virtually all of the job growth 
in the United States for the next seven years. That brings me to you. How can you be competitive in a service-producing industry job market we are now experiencing and will experience for at least the next seven years? My advice to you, graduates, is make a gift of yourself and your abilities to each and every person to whom you provide service. Treat each person with whom you come in contact as if he or she is your best friend. You will be unique and you will be in great demand. If you are inclined to continue your education over beyond undergrad after the next four years, I urge you to consider the law, although after the jury verdict we just heard out in California, I got to tell you, Michigan's not like California. We practice real law here. <laughs> Graduates, I urge you to consider the law. You will be incredibly rewarded every day in every way that you can serve your fellow citizen. Law school is rigid and demanding, but the toughest part about law school is getting in. Once you get in, you will have such a love for the research and the case study. You will love law school. You will be required to read and prepare several hundred pages of case law every night. 20, maybe 30 cases. The professor will call randomly. Mr. Smith, what was the ruling in Roe versus Wade? Ms. Jones, tell me why the court ruled in this way. You'll need to be prepared. You'll need to be able to answer every one of those questions because the student next to you will be able to do that. And so will you. Law school teaches a way of thinking, a way of analyzing, and a way of problem solving. And after all, isn't that what the legal profession is, problem solving? If you have any interest in the law, I invite you to consider clerking for our court for the summer or even on your school breaks. I have one student now from the other school who is clerking with our court. I would certainly find room for several others. There are two more things I need you to take from here tonight. One, will you want to work the same job for the next 50 years? I have to tell you, I love the law. I love what I do. I have a passion for the law. You too have to do what you will enjoy. Anything else is a waste of time and energy. When you are deciding what it is you are going to do with the rest of your life, do the analysis on what jobs will be in demand five to ten years from now, but don't take a job because it is the sensible thing to do or because it's safe. And don't do, take a job because others expect it. If others expect you to be a CPA or a social worker or a lawyer, but you really have a passion for Ron Willeen's job, go for it. You could be the best principal there is, bar none. Or maybe we'll have to have another phrase, bar one. Do something, students, because you love it. Ron Willeen loves his job. You can tell that. Do something because you believe in it. Ron Willeen believes in students. You can tell that. Do something to which you can dedicate yourself. Do something out of passion. The rewards are absolutely incredible. The second thing, try not to be a person of success, but rather be a person of value. What is this judge telling you not to be successful? No, that's not what I said. Try not to be a person of success, but rather a person of value. You are now entering perhaps the most difficult phase in your life. 
one that requires really hard work. And that phase is working on you. Thus far, your parents, your grandparents, your extended family, and certainly Port Huron High School have shaped you. Now, however, there will be no one looking over your shoulder and guiding you. You are called upon to shape your character for the rest of your life. You need to do an analysis, and people generally do not analyze themselves. But you need to do an analysis. Are you basically the introvert or the extrovert? The clown or the reserved? The thinker or the distraught? You have to learn about yourself. You're not going to find it in a book. You have to discover what is your basic character? What are your values? What are your basic philosophies of life? Graduates, let me warn you. The world into which you are about to enter is a dangerous place to go looking for a philosophy in life. A great example of that is the young lady who never made it back from Aruba. Think about that. Her values were a little misplaced. Her philosophies were not discovered. Think about it, students. You've been given the tools and the guidance. Look at your inner self now. Who are you? What are your values? Graduates, let me give you some starting points in your analysis. First of all, stop trying to be different. You don't have to be good. You don't have to be different to be good. To be good is different enough. Honesty is always the best policy. These days, I'm finding people have more and more difficulties being honest. Basic honesty is always the best policy. Family and friends are the most important tools you'll need in preserving the stability in your life. When the times get tough, and it looks as though I just really can't complete this, you need the stability of family. Rely on them. Integrate your values and what you believe into every single area of your life. And make a gift of yourself and your abilities to each person you meet. In conclusion, graduates, I wish you the ability to trust your instincts, to follow your passions, and to pursue a life where love of work and love of others and self are combined. Congratulations to all of the parents, family, to the Port Huron High School faculty for graduating a class with an unbelievably high overall grade point average. And most importantly, congratulations to the graduates of Port Huron High School, Big Reds, class of 2005. Go get them. Just a wonderful job. Let's give um, her honor another round of applause. At this time, I would like Jennifer Moretz, class president, to come forward because I think we have a gift for the judge. Judge Platzer, would you step down here, please? Mr. Willeen, I would like to first thank you on behalf of the class of 2005 for working so hard over the last four years to be the best principal in the state of Michigan, bar none. <laughs> Thank you, Judge Platzer, for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and speak to us tonight. As a token of our appreciation, we would like to present you with this gift. Go Big Reds!
Before I start, uh, Miss Barrett, would you check with the photographers to make sure we have, we need, if we need the house lights on for taking the pictures of all the students. I want to make sure that runs smooth. With that, the senior song, Here I Go Again, by White Snake, performed by Robert Suyer, Jennifer Moretz, Lindsay Lewis, Mike Lacey, and Aaron Krall, Qatar, Justin DeMars, bass, Cody Tuttle, drums, Amy Hudson, keyboard, and signed by Alicia Miller. As these students are walking back to their seats, let's give them one more nice round of applause.
For the last four years, the class of 2005 has been guided by great sponsors, and their sponsor is with us tonight. She has done just a terrific job for this class. This class is extremely proud of her, and I would like to say a couple of things about her. With her guidance over the years, the class of 2005 has had many accomplishments. They've been very successful and set a very high standard for others to follow. They have continued the pride, tradition, and excellence we possess here in Big Red Country. Congratulations to an outstanding class. Please join me now with a salute to their class sponsor I, as I ask her to stand, Miss Tracy Anderson. The Board of the Port Huron Area School District is extremely lucky to have such a great and dedicated school board who work very hard for the students, teachers, and staff in our schools. Under the direction of the board president, Mrs. Barb Daniels, there are seven board members who work together as a unit making decisions about the lives of our kids. We have, us, we have with us tonight five of the seven members who will help us with our diploma presentation. Please hold your applause until I recognize all of them. Mrs. Barb Daniels, President. Mr. Jeff Stout, Vice President. Mr. Thomas Crosby, Trustee. Mr. Malcolm Floyd, Trustee. Mr. Charles Meeker, Trustee. And I'd like to add that Mr. Malcolm Floyd will be done at the end of this term, and I'd like to thank him as well as everybody else for his nine plus years for the dedicated work to this district. Let's give the Board of Education a nice round of applause. This evening, Mr. Kraft, Director of Public Relations, will be announcing the names of our graduates so that I may personally congratulate each and every one of our seniors. It is our pleasure to present the diplomas to the individual members of the class of 2005. Could I ask the audience to please cooperate with us and hold your applause until all students' names have been called. We ask that you do this with pride. Your sons and daughters have worked very hard for you tonight. Before we begin to read the names of our students, I must say a few words about Port Huron High School. We have one of the finest high schools in the state of Michigan, bar none. This is due to the parent dedication and involvement with our school and the diversity of the student population. We are strong because of our cultural differences and our students benefit socially, emotionally, intellectually, and educationally. Our senior assembly recognizes many of our students and their achievements. However, we inadvertently missed an important one this year. At this time, I would like to recognize Angela Marie Hansen, if she would stand, for her perfect attendance since seventh grade. Let's give her a nice round of applause. <laughs> Mr. Kraft, please take your place at the podium. President Jennifer Lynn Moretz, Secretary Camille Marlene Stanley, Vice President Michael Francis Mowinski, Treasurer Katie Marie Adolph, Valedictorian Aaron Christine Shadi, Valedictorian Laura Jane Collier, Valedictorian Kimberly Lynn Oberski, Valedictorian Jason Kelly Tippy. 
Salutatorian, Nicholas James Wood. Matthew Stephen Fogel. William Thomas Rutledge. Rachel Sue Gratton. Kelly Ann Fiedler. Whitney Renee Ashford. Ashley A. Dion. Sarah Ann Minnis. Victoria Ashley Castillo. Katie C. Perry. Exchange student from Korea, Yu Jin Che. Andrea Lee Everhart. Kristen Taylor Reed. Rachel Marie Chisholm. Exchange student from Japan, Ami Kobayashi. Jessica M. Ledbetter. Joseph D. Blake, Jr. Derek John DeWitt. Exchange student from Germany, Helena Pfarr. Exchange student from Germany, Chrissy Schmidt. Sarah Marie Steele. Exchange student from Germany, Cora Schmidt. Andrew D. Ruppel. Kyle T. Smith. Andrew Neil Smith. Dane Michael Edmondson. Benjamin Austin Crackle. Matthew Ryan Hoffman. Lance Little Sky Caboni. Jonathan A. Green. Robert Michael Hugerhide. Justin William Coleman. Stephen Dale Prevett. Michael Cameron Phipps. Bridget C. Dunsmore. Colleen Brooks Seaman. Amanda Sue Frazier. Nicole Ashley Ledsworth. Thomas M. Klein. Timothy Carl Obertine. Ryan Joseph Kuhn, Aaron K. Kral, Ryan Lee Rollins, Anthony Daniel Doan, Crystal Lynn Lewis, Lindsay Ann Toms, Michelle Lee Ayer, Rebecca Ashley Frazier, Jason Matthew Pelk, Anthony Lawrence Horton, Patrick Don Pung, Jason W. Torgerson, Anthony Adent, Edward Joseph Lee, Kevin Allen Pelton, Michael Joseph Siebert, Sarah Lynn Landshut, Lee Victoria Peltz, Hannah Caitlin Mar Markle, Annalie Marseille Smith, Cord Matthew Vardy, Nacio Williams, Samuel Timothy Browning, Robert J. Vahovic, Anthony Scott Franks. Joseph Anthony Perugia, Bryce Adam Martin, Kurt Russell Regolinski, Joshua Allen Robbins, Zachary Thomas Sutton, Amanda K. Case, Lori Michelle Batchelor, Amanda Burrell, Natalie Jill Lawrence, Stephen G. W. Welsh, Brian John McDougall, Sean Leo Fahey, Brian Joseph House, Jessica Elizabeth Olvera, Felicia Z. Arnold, Kimberly Sue Atkinson, Bonnie Lee Zarate, Lucas Allen Bell, Richard Ryan Wisniewski, Joshua Leroy Donbrowski, 
Ernest E. Edwards, Cody A. Tuttle, Carl E. Schaefer, Amanda Sue Hilliard, Elicia Jade Miller, Ryan Michael Evans, Justin E. DeMars, Kevin Ellen Begaski, Robert Fitzgerald Caswell, Samuel Delgado, Jonathan Frederick Ozaya, Stephanie Diane Zeck, Amber Nore Singles, Camille C. Downey, Christy Elizabeth Miller, Stacy Ann Braley, Angela Marie Hansen, Patricia Ann Torres, Rachel Christine Hutchinson, Jesse A. Gentry, Andrew Kenneth Graham, Aaron Michael Grattan, Brandon Scott Moppin, Matthew Stanley Putz, Anthony Joseph Ayers, Tricia Denise Hoffman, Carrie Ann Brabaugh, Lindsay Jane Lewis, Danielle Ann Miller, Cassie Ann Marie Rosso, Lacey Ann Starosky, Brian Michael Brown, Sylvester Hilliard, Thomas Wayne McCauley, Joel Michael Ward, John C. Russell, Travis J. Rutherford, Larissa K. Serline, Edith Pettis Henderson, Megan Brianna Maluli, Jacqueline Marie Vernier, Jeffrey Ryan Johnson, Clayton Thomas Sherrard, Michael A. Struthers, Zachary E. Ziglin, Raimundo Reza Dame, Brandon Dantel Booth, Nicole J. Brookins, Anne Elizabeth Moss, Satya L. Johnson, Shayla Marie Whitmore, Stephanie C. Pond, Jean Ann Shepley, Carrie Ann Struthers, Samantha Jo Baird, Catherine A. Ash, Kristen Nicole White, Christopher Michael Boziak, Benjamin O. Bowers, Frank Jarrett Broder, Al S. Buckner, Joseph Ray Ellis, Timothy Michael Fox, Matthew, Matthew Stephen Galanos, Joseph Michael Gunther, Eric W. Haddix, Glenn Nathan Howard, John Frederick McCollum, Scott Clark McConnell, Sarah Marie Bauer, Chelsea Elizabeth Kibble, Caitlin E. Bruins, Robin Denise Maddox, Amanda Catherine Raines, Cynthia Young Blatt, Brittany Renee Shea, Sarah Jo Everett, Renee Arlene Smith, Carrie Ann Raditz, Sarah Jean Climus, Lindsay Noel Levere, Lindsay R. Lay, Megan Nicole Shannon, Patrick Lee Ratowski, Robert John Sheff, Paul Gregory Schroeder, Sean Michael Shero, Nicholas L. E. Ayers, Joshua Daniel Croton, Leslie Irwin Dupree, Anthony James Dyer, Sabrina Farmer, Ashley S. Hernandez, Caitlin Josephine Hubbarth, Nicole Susan Hildebrand, Ashley N. James, Sarah Ann Beebe, Jamie Lynn Bettinger, Rebecca Lynn Covria, Amanda Lynn Christner, 
Amy Nicole Davis, Karina Marie Dunn, Laura Lee Marsak, Elizabeth Amber Miller, Jessica Lee Poole, Dana Lynn Schoben, Yvonne Louise Stickler, Damon Eugene Dyer, Donald Patrick Eagle, Donald Lore Howe, Daniel Gerald Ingalls, Eddie R. Jameson, Raymond R. July, William George Lambert, Philip Carl Livingston, Ashley E. Wolf, Jeanette Elois Baker, Chandra Latrell Caldwell, Amanda D. Counterman, Brenda Renee Pate, now, Sabrina Kathleen Chauvin, Cynthia Lynn Stevens, Aaron Elise Stoken, April Renee Trombley, Amanda L. Wolf, Allison M. Swing, Sarah K. Biskey, Angela Rose Callender, Sean Michael Miller, Kyle Patrick O'Connor, Alden Osmanovic, Almir Osmanovic, Marshall Andrew Runnels, Kenneth R. Clark, Zachary Bolton, Bradley A. Cook, Davil Sandre Collier, Robert Allen Soulier, Jason Lee Diaz, Jasmine Elise Davenport, Kimberly Ann Doan, Santoria Donaldson, Adrian Raynal Glenn, Jacqueline M. Hammerly, Heidi Alana May Helms, Tiffany L. Letourneau, not here, Casey L. Matthews, Colleen F. Nelson, Nelson, Sharina D. Scott, Patrick A. Dingman, Aaron D. Dunsmore, Jesse James Hojanaki, John A. R. Jazirski, Andrew Michael King, Jason Anthony Leach, Ashley Marie Allen, Laura Leanne Gans, Keisha Marie Evans, Kyle A. Martini, Bobby Douglas Reyes, Brandon Scott Vasquez, Kenneth R. Duffy, Alexander James Falk, David Lawrence Graham, Jacqueline Lynn Courier, Amy Elizabeth Davis, Jack Katie M. Brazier, Jessica Lynn Bailey, Megan Patricia Gill, Rebecca Lynn Hintz, Eric James Johnson, Sean Robert King, Matthew Allen Kristen, Michael James Lewis, Keith R. Martin, Christopher R. McConnell, April Lynn Kilborn, Sarah Ann Lessig, Alicia Dawn Salazar, Nicole Marie Britz, Leanne M. Capps, Catherine A. Capps, Jasmine S. Curry, Diamond Michelle Davis, Christopher Anthony Miller, Timothy H. Post, Adam K. Russell, Daniel Lee Rutherford, Jeremy Andrew Smarsh, Brian James Washington, Sabrina Robin Dazer, Sarah Leah Dolan, Eric Scott Washington, Andrew Robert Willis, Daniel C. Swing, Nicholas Allen Albert, Zachary Allen Andrioni, Corey Allen Barnes, 
Shantae Lynette Myers, Eva Marie Ann Rapson, Courtney Jade Reppenhagen, Christina Lee Young, Derek M. Berger, Corey A. Eifert, Joshua A. Chauvin Harper, Todd Allen Dixon, Andra Lynn Collins, Ashley Nicole Hugner, Jessica Dawn De Bruin, Ashley Nicole Forbes, Joseph Paul Morris, Glenn Paul Randazzo, Andrew Joseph Smith, Joshua A. Aidy, Brandon Andrew Demand, Michael Stephen Lacey, David Adams Fall, Christopher John Flory, Corey Lee Forstner, Robert G. Free, Jillian May Gevlinski, Charlene Gail Hillock, Jennifer Aaron Hintz, Tanina N. Stewart, Robert Allen Galvin, Kyle Christopher Gamble, Douglas David Hartley, Michael Roderick Fields, Jonathan A. Tigler, Robert Lee Walker, Robert Wallish, Sean L. Whitcomb, Chantel M. Kesner, Jenny Lonstein Bevins, Erica Lynn Lemke, Go ahead, Eric. Stephen Gerald Beery, Robert D. Cowper, Dustin Firth, Chad Allen Fry, Christopher Lee Sanderson, Marion Jerome Stewart, Janie Ann Hudson, Amy Lynn Hudson, Katie J. Campbell, Mary Beth M. Courier, Ashley Lamping, Lewis M. Baker, Andrew Carl Holman, Jeffrey Thomas Kamendat, Sean Matthew Adley, Corey M. Taylor, Joseph Landis Thelmus, Christopher Lee Weingarten, Joel C. Matthews, Anthony J. Weekland, Robert David Wandelt, Amy Jo Hart, Caitlin Vine, Becky A. O'Neill, Catherine Lucille Rydell, Michelle Leah Booth, Ashley L. Egan. Mr. Wolleen, that completes the reading of the list of names of the class of 2005. As the students are going back to their seats, let's give them one more round of applause.
the class of 2005 may now move their tassels from the left to the right. Congratulations, you are graduates of Port Huron High School. On behalf of the administration and the faculty of Port Huron High School, it is my pleasure to present to the audience the class of 2005. Let's hear it for this class. Will, will the class of 2005 please rise and face the audience? The alma mater fight song class cheer will be led by the following students. The alma mater led by Nicole Lensworth, accompanied by Mr. Terry Beasley, the pianist. The fight song and class cheer led by Katie Brazel, Laura Collier, and Sarah Dallin. Everybody stand. walking back to their seats, let's again give them a nice warm round of applause. <laughs> Maestro.
Would the class of 2005 please face forward? <laughs> 